Welcome to my video where I want to show you how you can solve the following exercise of physical chemistry. So the exercise is you have a block of solid water and you want to melt it to liquid water at a pressure of one atmosphere. The first question is if this process is anatomic or exothermic. To answer this we first have to look on the conditions. Our system is the solid water and the surroundings are the heat we give to the system. So heat is the form of energy. So we put energy to the system to melt the water. And so the entropy of the inner state is less than the entropy of the final state and so our delta H is bigger than zero and the process is endothermic. The next question is in what temperature range it is a spontaneous process. To answer this we have to look on another size, the entropy, which is a measure of chaos in a system. So we put energy to the system and because of this the molecules begin to move more and the chaos in the system becomes bigger and so our delta S is also bigger than zero and the process is endotropic. If we now look on this graph we are in this quadrant because our delta S is bigger than zero and our delta H is bigger than zero. And so we need a special floor temperature to let the process happen spontaneously. This floor temperature is in this case the temperature of fusion and the temperature of fusion of water is 273.15 Kelvin at one atmosphere. And so the answer of this question is that the melting of ice is spontaneous at a temperature above, above 273.15 Kelvin which is equal to zero centigrade uh, yeah, and a pressure of one atmosphere. The third question is in what temperature range the process is non-spontaneous. This is the opposite to the last question and so we can say that it's uh, that the melting of ice is non-spontaneous at a temperature below zero centigrade because it's spontaneous above zero centigrade at a, temperature, uh, at a pressure at one atmosphere. At least we have to find out at what temperature the, the phases are in equilibrium. Therefore we can look at this graph. And here we can see, as we already knew, that at one atmosphere, which is equal to 1013 hectopascal, the water is solid under a temperature of 273.15 Kelvin and liquid above it. So this green line here describes the equilibrium of solid and liquid water and the point E marks the, the equilibrium at one atmosphere which is at 273.15 Kelvin and so the answer is at one atmosphere the equilibrium is at zero centigrade. This were the answers to the questions of the exercise. Thank you for listening.